Plumbing Live Q&A with Roger Wakefield, and that is me. If you want to learn plumbing by receiving the best information, if you believe that your opinion matters and you want it to be heard, if you really have a love for getting into and better at the trades, and you want to have a freaking awesome time learning and contributing, I think you will like your options here where the information and the facts equal the data that you need. So I am Roger Wakefield. I am a plumber. And man, we talk plumbing. The good thing is we talk plumbing live every Monday. We do some of the biggest giveaways for tradespeople on social media that I know of. And man, we we just love what we get to do. It's been a while since I've been here. I I forgot, you know, who a lot of you people are. Okay, and I'm joking. Uh, but I want to jump into the comments real quick and say hello to some people. I see that we've already got architectural sheet metal in the house. Good to see you. How is everything going? Hey, Roger, sorry, it's been a while since I've been on. Just been going crazy with running the business. I get it. It's been a while since I've been on. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. It's either been two or three weeks since I've been on, which is crazy. But it's been very productive. Zachary Ramos, how will Texas Journeyman I uh, get to be administered with Pearson now running the written portion of the test. We will have to set up an additional date for our shop portion for the test. Okay. And yes, but here's the good thing. And, and here, here's what I want you to get. And, and this is a great question, Zachary, because the, the big thing about it is that the Texas State Board is a very small building. And to get that many people in to do the written, it takes the examiner's time away from the shop to have to come in and do that so here's the deal they've got i think 40 locations statewide so you're just going to be able to, to you know drive to the next town over maybe the town you live in and go in take a test and then schedule your practical now here's where this is good the practical is now given in waco the practical is now given in austin they're actually looking at building a place down in brownsville to do the practical down there and they're looking at other places i think by the time they're done they want seven places to do the practical exam. So the cool thing about it is you're going to be able to go take the written exam at any point and figure out, hey man, look, I passed. Now all I've got to do is go do my practical. And I don't think most people are going to have to go as far to do it. So I think this is a phenomenal thing. Uh, and and I look at this and it's funny because think about this, Zachary, I thought about this about God, 12 years ago, 13 years ago when I took my lead AP exam. I took this massive exam that is given nationwide because lead AP is a national certification. And literally, as soon as I finished, it said you passed. And while I'm sitting here looking at this, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great if the plumbing exam could do that? Where it not only says you passed, but it says, hey, the next available date for your practical is, you know, a week from Friday. Do you want it? You click yes, it's yours. It's locked in. Or you say, man, look, I'm going to be out of town on vacation that week. I'd like to do it the next week. I think the opportunity here is phenomenal. It may be kind of clinky in the beginning, but I'm telling you, I think this is going to be good for all of us. Derek Appleton says, hey, do you know if your apartment building plumbing is connected to one inlet? Well, I know from roughing in apartments, I've seen it both ways. I've seen that you have one main going through the entire building. But I've also seen it, and I guess really it was condos that had individual branch lines coming out. So it could be roughed in either way. Uh, So, Derek, good luck with that. My brother, Mr. Steve Harloa, how are you today? Good to see you in here. This is Aloha Roger. My apologies, but I won't be able to make it today. Hope you have a great day. Much love and aloha. Number one, thanks for jumping in. I do appreciate it. 
Sean Strong, my other brother in the house. Man, look at this. We got, we got, this is a family reunion. Mr. Sean Strong, how are you, sir? Good to see you in here. And yes, there are the links. Sean Strong not only set up, but runs the Discord group and has done a fantastic job over there. Also the subreddit, uh, Roger Wakefield posts. If you have any pictures, videos, man, anything at all that might be good on videos here on YouTube, post them over there. We'd love to talk to you. Mr. Matt McDonough, how are you? Mr. Miyagi of Plumbing, what's up? Man, it's just another beautiful day, but I got to tell you, last, a week ago Friday, not this last Friday, but a week ago, I went down to Fort Lauderdale to start getting ready for a conference. Got to get out and get a little sun. If you can't tell, I, 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 man, I look good. Uh, got a little sun, so so all happy there. But man, I was in a conference for four days and it was mind blowing. Uh, man, I'm growing cool things. I'm working on some cool things, but to get out and meet with some wonderful people and figure out how to do it better, man, I just, I did. I loved it. Uh, everyone having a good Monday, Sean, br brother, just seeing you in here makes it, makes it wonderful. Thank you. Benny Ma says, Roger, love you. Thank you very much, man. I love y'all. I hope y'all know that I get to do because of y'all and think about this because of the community that we've got here. Man, I get to do the things that I do. I, I, I get to, number one, go learn. But I get to come in here, talk plumbing, connect people across the country. I get people in here that, that are moving to another state and they're looking for a job. And they connect with someone in here and they're like, man, look, I got a job. Uh, it's really pretty cool. Anthony Sara says, hey, Roger, start my first day of plumbing today in Australia. Good for you because I know, it, it, I believe it's what, about six in the morning there? Uh, Anthony, number one, congratulations. What kind of plumbing company are you going to work for? Are you doing residential or commercial? Are you doing service or new construction, union or non-union? Man, I'd be interested if you have time to let us know what you're doing, what got you into it. And man, also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, you know, when we go live, when we do things, just because man, I'd love for you to jump in every now and, and, and tell us how it's going. Uh, but number one, congratulations to you. Benny Moss says, adopt me as a grandson. Uh, I've already got grandson and granddaughter, so I, I'm good, but I appreciate it. Uh, I get it. Thank you very much. Kyle Norton says, what do you do to seal test balls inside of an old cast iron pipe when locating sewer leaks? Uh, an executive with RCA Plumbing. Kyle, this is good, and this is one I talk about very often, and, and I wax my balls. I take bowl wax. Uh, preferably a cheaper brand or, or one that, you know, is real small. And it's funny because I was talking about these earlier today, but I take bowl wax. I take my test ball. I wax my balls real good and then get them in right where I want them. Now, here's another trick that a lot of plumbers don't do, but, but this is a good one because if you're going to be following it up with a camera, you don't want to run your camera through like a big glob of wax that may have come off. So I know plumbers that will actually wax their balls and then take a big rubber glove and put over it and push that down in there. The wax is st still going to help it seal it off. The, the acrylic, the lover, the, the latex, the rubber glove is actually going to seal off really good. And I got to tell you, man, it, it, it does. It works. Uh, yeah. Kyle says flow by gives false results. Now, one thing too, I like putting this in a double clean out because if I can push my test ball, say this is the house side. If I can push my test ball in there and put it right in the middle of the two clean outs, the two combinations, now I can look down this side just to see if any water is leaking by. So I love to have it there. Now, the problem is if you're isolating, you're shoving it up under a house. And man, I've got test ball hoses that are 10, 20, maybe 10, 15, 20, 40, 50, 75, and 100 feet because we, we never know how far in we're going to have to push them. So, man, I, I, I completely agree. Flow by will give you false results. You may have to take that test ball, drain it, move it, double or triple test because you always want to know 100% for sure there is or is not a leak. Drake Jr. says, how many workers would you need on your workers' comp to get hired for a big job. Uh, it doesn't matter how many workers you've got on it. What matters is, is do you have enough to fill the call? Meaning when, if we sub out a big job or a lot of work from a big company, they're not worried about 
how many I have on my workers comp. They want to know, do you have enough men to get this work done in this timely manner? So it's a big deal. Jungle Matale says, Mr. Roger, in geyser installation, why is it necessary to install a ball valve just before the pressure controller valve? Uh, whilst pressure control valve also have a stop valve. I'm from South Africa. Uh, I, I'll tell you this, Matole. I don't, man, we don't do a lot of geyser installation over here. Uh, matter of fact, I doubt that there's anybody in here that does it. So you may be on a whole nother, not whole nother level of plumbing than us. But just reading it, I think that you would want to install a valve there in case you need to change the pressure control valve. Uh, just telling you, I'm not sure, but that's what it would seem like to me. Cedric Tiggle says, hey, Roger, do you have a tool you prefer for cutting XFR? Man, let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, and I can't. If you're talking about the board, oh, look, I, I love... Here's the deal. I love the, uh, man, God, what are they called? Uh, the little oscillating saws. Uh, those are great if that's what you're talking about. So put back in here. What is the XFR you're talking about? Because I want to make sure I got this right. Uh, man, it jumped on me again. Is your company a corporation? Absolutely. Uh, what is the practical exam in Texas? Man, there, there's a long list, Thomas. Uh, you've got to cut cast iron. You've got to solder. I think, God, I think you still have to braise. You have to make a rolling offset. Uh, you have to rough in a house, meaning they've got like this dollhouse. And I've got a video in, t in, in my YouTube channel where I show it. Uh, I don't know if I can find it over here. Man, I'm going to try just because th this is one of my favorites. Uh, and, and I've got to tell you, I, I really think that the, the, the videos that we've made when it comes to plumbing and, and the plumbing exam and stuff is phenomenal. Uh, let me see if I can go to videos. Uh, I should have a search right down here somewhere. And I, there we go. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to go to my channel and put exam in. Uh, there's one right here. Three months ago sounds about right. So if I do this and that, I should be able to stop there. Man, y'all y'all gonna like this. <clears throat> All right, so Thomas, I put a link in here that, that is a video to uh the plumbing exam. I love it. Sean, wh why did you retract your own, your own comment? I love seeing that every now and then. Lashy, Mr. Youngberry, how are you? Says morning from OZ. Roger, I want to know what sort of water jet are you used? My company uses a sprint jet that operates at 5,000 PSI on a 50 millimeter roll. <clears throat> Also use the conjunction in conjunction with the rigid camera setup. Well, I'll tell you what, the, the hydro jetters that, that I've been using, uh, I've got two. Uh, I don't think either one of them goes to 5,000 PSI, so I love that. Uh, I would ask you this, Lishy, what, what are you jetting out with this? Is, is it a main? Is it arms? Is it branch lines? What is it? Because I'm curious. But you're also using it in conjunction in conjunction with the rigid camera. I'm moving over to the Milwaukee camera. I love that thing. I think the clarity of it, uh, the, the picture that you get, just everything about it, man, makes it really, really cool. And he says, hey, Roger, start my first day of plumbing. I saw that. Thank you very much. So anyway, Lacey, man, let me know what are you cleaning out with it, just out of curiosity. Sean, I agree with you, but I looked over at your live comment. Anthony saw that. Brendan Glass says, I have the option at my company of being cross-training both HVAC and plumbing. I've been plumbing for four months with a little bit of HVAC. Would this be worth it? <clears throat> Brendan, my thought is anytime you can learn something new, yes, it's worth it. I don't know if I like the idea of cross-training it just four months. I would love the idea, which is what I did. After I was a plumber, I went back and took the HVAC course 
to get my certifications. Uh, could it go either way? Absolutely. Sorry about that. I normally turn that off. Let me make sure I got my volume down and got everything done. Uh, I always forget to turn off the ringer so it won't make noise on me but <clears throat> yes i see i do look good in black thank you very much i like that sean strong says the discord and subreddit are also great places to get help and questions answered and, and that's true if and, and i do i have people send me messages and it'll be a picture and i can't really see real good what it is and they're like roger what do you think i should do here it's like if i were you i'd put that in our subreddit group i have a lot of plumbers that get in there and, and men are going to give you good information. So it's pretty cool. Dexter Bernard says, what's up, Roger? Just jumped in the live when I got the notification. Always looking forward to your live. Dexter, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody who jumps in here. Uh, there you go, Chris M. Uh, hit the like equals let's go, Brandon. Brandon's all over it, ain't he? And I paid almost $175 to fill up my truck two days ago. Just want you to know the thought in my mind made me think about it. Uh, Ryan Miles says, hey, Roger, I'm a plumber in South Florida. Was thinking of moving to Texas. I was curious if you know how plumbing codes differ from the two states with new construction. Ryan, I'll tell you what. Uh, and I've been in Florida the past couple of weeks. In the past three weeks, I've been in Orlando and Fort Lauderdale. Love it down there. Uh, man, here's the deal. Water still goes downhill. Uh, you don't bite your fingernails, and the boss is still a SOB. The cool thing about it is <clears throat> in Texas, we install by the IPC, the International Plumbing Code, or some places still the UPC, the Uniform Plumbing Code. And check those out. I don't think you're going to have any problem. Max says, how much company will pay me after my apprenticeship? Well, it depends on what part of the country you're in. Uh, here in Texas, if you finish your apprenticeship and you become a journeyman or a tradesman, you're going to make anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks an hour. And you could even make more than that. If you've been a service technician and you're good at sales, communication, talking to customers, <clears throat> it can be phenomenal. Anthony said it's service residential and it's placement for school. Anthony, man, that is phenomenal. I, if I could go back, and this is something that Texas is doing now, and, and I love this, so I want you all to think about this. Texas now has a deal where a person can go into high school. Their freshman year, that they can take basic courses. They can take whatever they got to take. But starting their sophomore year, they go through a curriculum that's going to teach them plumbing. And it's going to teach them plumbing well enough that when they graduate three years later, they can go down and take the Texas tradesman exam. Think about that. You can get out of high school and make $52,000 a year. I think what Texas is doing is getting so far out ahead of the issue that we're having with hiring tradespeople. And, and, and I want you all to think about that because we've got 900,000 unfilled trades jobs across the United States in Texas is like, how can we get kids right out of high school into the trades? Well, the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners, the TEA, uh, not just the Texas State Board, the board, the board on the Texas State Board, the executive director at the Texas State Board, Lisa Hill, man, they've got together and made something happen that I think is phenomenal. Uh, and then Matt Schaefer out of Tyler, Texas, was also involved with this, helping write everything to make it happen. And man, this is this is going to be a game changer all across the country because now, I mean, think about this. If I could have gone to high school and got out and walked out of high school as a tradesman, as a licensed, and when I say licensed, it, it's a it's a license for single family dwellings. Single family and two family dwellings. But when you look at most residential service plumbing companies, that, that's who we cater to. So this is a great opportunity for, I think, people in Texas going into high school. Uh, Max's commercial. I love it. Uh, I know. Uh, Sean, Sean says, getting the hard questions today. Geysers and some XFR. Uh, man. Yeah. Don't neglect the thumb button. It, look, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, please. 
just take a second, hit the button. It lets YouTube know, hey, look, this guy's doing something good because the people like him. If you don't like me and you want to hit the down button, just please hit it twice. Uh, I'm joking. Really don't hit it. <clears throat> right, so there's a link to the videos. Uh, Django Matole says, Mr. Roger Wakefield, geyser installation, water heater installation, but in South Africa, we call it a geyser, but you have answered my question. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. See, Sean, even when I don't know what I'm talking about, I can get it right sometimes. Uh, not all the time, trust me. Sean says, that had a typo. I'll accept nothing but less than perfection. Amen. Amara DePaul says, hey, Roger, I'm a female who just started her apprenticeship. Number one, Amara, I love that. Uh, love to know where you're at because if you've seen my videos, you know, look, anybody can do the tricks. And, and I love it when guys tell me, oh, a girl can't do what I do. It's like, dude, you will work her work for her one day. Three of the top plumbers in Texas are female. Lisa Hill, who I just mentioned a while ago, she's the executive director of the Texas State Board. Diane Villarreal, former plumbing inspector, chief plumbing inspector in the city of Dallas. She probably knows more about plumbing th than 99% of the men in Texas. And then there's... Mary Conger, Conger Construction Services, Continuing Education Provider, and Mechanical Engineer and Master Plumber. Now, the one thing I will say is <clears throat> the cool thing about Diane, Mary, and myself, we all have every master endorsement you can have in Texas. And when you look at only 20, uh, only 20 plumbers in Texas have all these endorsements, and I know at least two of them are female, Man, my hat's off to actually three of them because Lisa does too, if I'm not mistaken. So, man, women own plumbing. So, Amara DePaul, thank you very much. Congratulations to you. I, I love hearing that. Cedric Teagle says, I was working on inch and a half XFR today. I work in a high rise residential, so I was installing the P traps underneath the showers on the 11th floor. Used a Husky ratcheting pipe cutter. And I would say, how did it do? I have used, so, so now I understand, I have used tubing cutters, the, a larger tubing cutter with a very thin wheel on it. Uh, inch and a half is kind of hard to cut with a little ratchet, but it can be done. Cedric says it wasn't great for it. Uh, so also, what about a Sawzall? Just saying. Sean Schofield says, do you have any advice for plumbers that may be switching from residential, like commercial, to have your commercial and to have your, I'm assuming, commercial? Look, it, it, man, it, guys, it's plumbing. You're going to get in. You're going to look at it. You're going to figure it out. I love the fact that, number one, we, we, we have a mental mindset of what does it take to make this happen, meaning what's it take to make water get to where it goes? What's it take to make the drainage get to where it goes? Man, learn to look at it like that, and, and you'll never get it wrong. Uh, Sweep King, good to see you in here. Pablo Nava, what's up? Lechi again says, Australia, stormwater drains, sewer drains, including branches. My company is not allowed to clear council main drains as the city council have their own plumbers who take care of that. And here in the United States, most Residential service companies don't get into the city mains either. The cities do that. But the plumber is responsible, or the homeowner, is responsible for everything from inside the house out to the city tap that taps into the main drain. Braden Graham says, hey, me and my brother are starting a plumbing business. Any advice for us? Yeah, man, lots. Uh, <clears throat> I'm in the middle of putting a course together right now that teaches people how to get out and network. How to use social media to build relationships, how to do video, and what words to use so that you can be found where you're at. Uh, Braden, first of all, I'd ask where you're at. What's the competition look like? What are they doing? And what can you do better? And man, if you do that and you think about the things I just told you, you'll be phenomenal. <clears throat> Ryan says, Thank you so much. No, thank you. Don Shrew says, Roger, my man. Love again from Montreal. Man, I got a lot of Canadians in here, and I love it because I have actually tried reaching out to Justin Trudeau about promoting the trades in Canada. Look, I, I think 
It doesn't matter where we're at. I don't care if you're in Mexico, if you're in Canada or anywhere in between. Man, we've got a lot of opportunity here. And I love the idea of recruiting more people into the trades to help them do, help them learn to be better. <clears throat> and this is one thing I talk about in here a lot. If you're not trying to be the best tradesman you can be, why not? You know, we, we all learn how to put pipe together. And I think this is one of the biggest biases that we have against ourselves. We get into trades to become a plumber, to become an electrician, to become an HVAC tech. Once we get that card in our pocket, we, we stop learning. And guys, what I want to tell you is never stop learning. If you're just getting in, if you're just learning to grow, you're just learning to get better, ask yourself each and every day, what can I do to become better? And, and keep looking at that. Get up every morning, study every or any plumbing information you can about every new product, every new material, every new technique, new equipment. What can you learn that's going to separate you apart from everybody else? Because if you will do that for a year, and it may take you a little bit longer, but if you'll do that for a year, you study 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, you will be in the top 5% of your trade. I guarantee it. You really will. Sean says, and Johnny, the UPC is the UPC. I get that. I agree with you there. Not by Zachar Zachariah says, hey, Roger, my name is Zach. Starting into a helper position, sound like they are looking into union apprenticeship in the state of Iowa. I really enjoy the work I've been doing so far. Good for you. Look, I, I used to be a union contractor. So, guys, I'm going to tell you. If you want a job for the rest of your life, you're great. The union is a great place to work. You're going to make good money. You're going to have good benefits. There's nothing wrong with it. Their education, as long as you're not in Dallas. Uh, no, the training program can be good. Uh, I've been up to, to Ann Arbor, Michigan, up to Piscataway, up to Washtenaw, to the instructor training program. And there's some training programs across the United States, I think are phenomenal. They want to teach you to be the very best you could ever be. And that, matter of fact, they don't want to just teach you that. They want you to understand that's what you're here for. Uh, and then again, I, I've been up there and seen some schools. It's like, man, why don't y'all even care about your people? Because the way they teach, that's what it seems like. The union can be good. Try to get everything you can out of it. Learn all you can and try to be the very best. That's all I can tell you, brother. Sean says, I wish I'd started plumbing right out of high school. Life would be much different. Wouldn't that the truth? Mr. Kyle Simpson, a master plumber out of Denver, Colorado. Good to see you in here. Uh, I was met in 1994 over from the Electrician U crew. Just hopping in to say yo. Man, I need to call Dustin. It's funny. Dustin called me. I was in a meeting a while ago, and literally that meeting ran up to about one minute before this one. <clears throat> I need to give him a shout. I, I would do it on the air, but you know how Dustin talks. I don't talk that way, so uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, there you go, just north of him. Pablo says, is water and sewer maintenance uh, for a city a good job? Man, anytime you can get a job working on water, working on sewers, anything like that, you're going to learn. So, man, Pablo, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, I would think it would be. And I think working for the city, you, man, there's Probably a little comfort zone there, meaning, look, they're going to have work forever. Alexander says, random question, why does my home water pipes rattle when my neighbor waters his yard? I don't know. Maybe he's spraying it on your house and hitting something. I'm joking. It's probably just a variance in pressure. Y'all could be far enough out on the system that when he uses it, it lowers your pressure, or, or when he turns it off and on, your pressure fluctuates, and that could make it to move. I've seen things like that. Hey, we love plumbing no matter where we're at, no matter how close we are. Uh, man, what a great. I'm a plumber in Australia. The way you guys put in toilets is heaps more different to how they are done here. Then, then here's what I would tell you is do me a favor. Take a video of you installing a toilet. Post it to the subreddit. 
you could do the Discord. I'll see it more if it's in the subreddit. But post it in there, man. I'd love to see what y'all do different. Sorry, guys. Needed to wet my pipes. <clears throat> Kyle says he moved to Colorado from Texas. Good deal. Dr. Awful MD looking to try plumbing in a new state. Any recommendations? Currently in Ohio. I'll tell you what, Texas is hiring every day. Big time. Sean Schofield says the steam system there that I have no clue the job is at SFO Airport. <clears throat> Okay, steam, I've only done one time. I popped in a big laundry room for a Four Seasons Resort. Man, I, I had a blast. I loved it. Sean says Kyle Simpson for sure. Outhouses are pretty easy. <coughs> Maybe get some of that fancy indoor plumbing. Yeah, you, you don't know, Sean. You don't want to do that. Kyle Simpson, we're always hiring at Applewood. Plum yeah, 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 you're going to get the notifications. Everybody's hiring, y'all. Sean says, never mind my life met anybody besides Roger who can absolutely say cutting PVC pipe with a sawzall, true perfection. <clears throat> Man, that's the way I was taught. And, and, and really, I mean, think about that. I was taught how to take PVC pipe, take a sawzall, cut it straight, ream it and clean it. And don't get me wrong. I, I may get a little crooked every now and then. But for the most of the part, man, I got this down. You learn to look at it. And hold on to it right, and you got it. Eddie Vasquez says, hey, Roger, <clears throat> going through plumbing school right now to get a certification, also doing an internship, apprenticeship with my pops. Your videos are very useful in my journey. Eddie, number one, thank you. Uh, where you at? I hope you love it. Guys, if y'all are getting started, this is where I tell y'all, look, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. The reason being, man, we put up new stuff all the time, and I have people jump in either here jump in the subreddit a lot. Uh, people send me messages a lot, <clears throat> even God, even on TikTok. And hey, Roger, can you make a video how to do this? And I'm always looking at what can I do to help people? So man, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That way, you know, when we put out new stuff, <clears throat> Norton Plumbing, just got my brand new descaler epoxy tool, Picote. Uh, I'm pretty stoked to run a new machine. Good for you. You got any experience running those things, any nightmares or stories? Uh, you know, the D scaler, look, I, I, I want to learn. I, I want to do cure in place plastic piping. I want to. I just want to use the very best brand. And I've heard a lot of people, man, I've heard good and bad about everything. So I'm kind of leery of it. And just let me know. What y'all think? Trudeau would think an impact gun is an assault weapon. You know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I think Brandon would too. If you aren't lean, lean, learning, you're dying. Boy, isn't that the truth? Guys, I, I learned to. I signed up for a new college course today. I, I am continuously learning, continuously trying to grow and get better. All I can say is, man, please keep doing that yourself, too. There's the link to the Discord and the subreddit. Car, you fix it. It says flushing two 100-gallon tanks with a bleach while listening to your channel. Man, I love it. Sergio Guadalupe says, Roger, what's your advice on trying to be a good plumber outside of work? I'm on month in training. I feel confident in pulling toilets and shower diverters, but I'm just helping my trainer. You know, I like this. Number, number one, I like the fact that you're like, look, what's the advice to be a good plumber? Because my thought is, number one, and I've said it a million times, never stop learning. Uh, if you hadn't subscribed, make sure you do that. And, and I know I say that a lot, but I say that to you young guys that, look, I'm going to be putting out great content for years you're going to have an opportunity to get in here and maybe learn something new. Uh, so, so what I would tell you is, is make sure you're continuously thinking, I'm never going to stop learning. And with new tools, new materials, new techniques, new equipment, and there's always new things to learn. Just keep doing it. I think it'll change your day. Don't be laughing at me. Tell them his ears should be itching. I tell you what, I, I, I wish y'all could see it. I've, I've been out in the sun a lot in Florida here lately, so so I'm peeling a little bit. I, I gotta I gotta work on that. 
Sean Strong says, you don't talk that way. Someone tell Roger he smells good and see what he says. I smell good and I look great. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, it's funny. I feel bad because I, I, I only order a certain kind of cologne. Uh, and I normally don't tell people what it is because people smell me and they're like, dude, you smell good. Sean tells me that a lot. <laughs> I order way too much cologne because I hate running out. So I'll order like six or eight bottles at a time. So anyway, I, I just, I'm saying that because I just ordered cologne a couple of days ago. So I know. Be nice to me, Sean. Or if certain people tell me I smell good, I say, well, I taste better. Just have it. Just comes right out. The Trades Academy. Justin Lawson says, good afternoon, Roger. Do you have any recommendations on books for starting a small construction plumbing company or any other good reads on the topic? Thanks, Justin from California. You know what? The, the biggest book that I would recommend, Justin, would be Michael E. Gerber, The E-Myth Book. And, and you can get it on audio. Man, that's a good one. I'm going to have to sit down and, and write down some books. But but the e -myth would probably be number one. The next one, which does not have anything to do with plumbing, would be Think and Grow Rich. The other two would be The Richest Man in Babylon because it's not about the money you bring in. It's what you do with it. How do you spend it? Where do you spend it? How do you control it? The next one would probably be Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Again, nothing to do with business. And the fifth one is one I'm editing right now because I've written a book talking about just these things. So, man, that's, that's, that's a good one. That, that, that's a good question. I really think I would start with E-Myth by Michael Gerber. Uh, he was one of the first coaches I had. Love him. Love what he talks about. Love the way he teaches you what to do. And then once you get out and learn how to do it, it can be phenomenal. Good questions, man. I love that. Macho Beard says, just applied for an apprenticeship at Local 344. Any interview tips? You know, absolutely. And Macho, here's the thing. And I want you all to think about this because when you go in and apply for a job or even a position as, as applying for an internship, an apprenticeship. Whoever's hiring you has a need. They have something they're looking for. They're not just looking for somebody who wants to come in and says, oh, man, I'll be here every day. Okay. They're looking for people that want to come and say, look, I want to help all of us look better. When I, want, when I walk onto a job, I want to show them I was trained by the best plumbers there are. I want to come in and do the job better than any other plumber in town. And, and that's what I try to do. And, and when you can talk to people about that and explain it to them about stuff like that, it, it really can be a big deal. They're looking for people that want to come in and help the union grow, that spread the, the positive sides of it, that, that, that tell people about the union and why it's a good place to be. Look, the union's good. You've got good insurance. You've got a pension plan, retirement plan. There's great things about it. I don't think it's for everybody, but I will tell you this. I think the union's phenomenal. It was good for me. And I think if you have a job, you don't want to open your own company. You just want to work for other people, learn and grow. I think the union is phenomenal. Efren Gonzalez is laying pipe and twisting nipples. You know, you must be a plumber. Zmetton says, uh, Sean Strong, I'll volunteer if it won't get me in trouble. Sean will get you in trouble, I promise. Don Shrew says, I'm on the fence between taking out more of a loan to buy a big, nice truck to start or start off with a small and beaten up truck to make money in year one. How would you launch the company? Don, this is a good one because, number one, I'm going to tell you probably what you don't want to hear. You're going to want to go to the new truck. Now. Do you take out a loan and buy it or do you do a lease on it and maybe get a bigger truck at less money? But understand, look, the first four or five years, you're not going to own it unless you decide to buy it. But I got to tell you, uh, be careful of a lease. I, I signed a lease agreement with Mike Albert. And when I got out of it, man, they jacked me over. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that they don't tell you. 
But if you're not planning on selling your business, you're just going to grow it and, and, and try to do that. Uh, I, I would look at the new vehicle. When you buy an older vehicle, you have downtime and it gets really, really expensive. So I'd look at a lease vehicle. Just stay away from Mike Albert. <clears throat> Thank you. Caused his meter to burst and mine to leak. Man, anything can happen. Life Entity says, I'm in my 30s, just started. I'm doing commercial work for hospitals. Green is an apple to this trade. I have no idea what this will lead me to. I'll tell you what, Life Entity, if you stick with it long enough, it, it will lead you to amazing things. I am living the most amazing life I could have ever imagined as a kid. I get to do the coolest things, but also when I drive through Dallas, I get to point at buildings and say, I built that. I worked on that. I did this. I did this. And I love what I get to do. I, I think life is phenomenal and it's plumbing that helped get me there. So it really is pretty cool. Says, so Roger, the Reddit thing, just punch that into the search engine and post stuff. I'm kind of ignorant to that. Uh, man, there's nothing really to be ig ignorant about. Click on the link and shot. I should have plugged that up there. should have locked it up there. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Let me put that. Yeah, if you'll click on that subreddit right there or copy it, post it, and go to it, just sign up, join. Uh, then, man, go in and play with it. You'll figure it out. You're going to go and comment on other people's posts. You're going to go and make your own post. A lot of things to do, but, man, it's it's a pretty cool deal. I actually like the subreddit. Sean says, so Roger, the Reddit thing. Okay, there you go. Uh, in California, for your pops under the home, you're going to be using ABS, which is easily done with pop cutter. PVC is a bit more hard to do with pop cutter and you'll be going through blades or wheels. And we use pretty much PVC here. I have seen two houses in a 40 year career that were ABS. Perfect tool to fix a leaking toilet. Well, it depends on where it's leaking from. Uh, is it around the bowl wax? Is it on the tank to bowl connection? Is it around the fill valve? Where is it leaking from? Don True says, learned to use Sawzall for PVC up to four inch as well. Even worked with the guy who had a small Milwaukee handheld battery Sawzall for inch and a half, two inch pipes. Fantastic option. And guys, here's the thing. <clears throat> if, you'll, if you'll get up and study the trade like I'm talking about, 30 minutes a day, every morning, you're going to learn about new tools, new materials, stuff like this. You're going to know, hey. This is the best tool out here for this because you're gonna you're gonna learn things other people aren't even aware of. Daniel Rand says, "Do you have any tips for someone that is starting to learn DWV?" You know, here, here's a good tip, and, and this was taught to me in the very beginning. When you're putting in the pipe, remember if a raindrop goes inside of a vent, it should be able to flow all the way down to the drain and out the house. Now, I understand, well, Rogers, it slides on the surface. It's going to lose part of it still. Okay, a marble, whatever. Make sure every curve you have flows towards the drain. It's a big one. Happily ever plumber productions. Appreciate your lives and videos. Thank you very much. Allergic to broke. I love this. Roger, just got into my local plumbing steam fitters union apprenticeship. Do you think I should be worried about the recession as being an apprentice? Uh, thanks for all the info. Uh, man, here's the deal. I, I'll tell you this. And guys, th this was my attitude all the way through the union. If you're the hardest worker on the job, they're not letting you go. If you're an apprentice and you work harder, you learn more, you try to be better than everybody else each and every day. Man, they're not going to let you go. Uh, if you're the top performer, whether it be as an apprentice, as a journeyman, whatever, they're going to keep you around. They want, if things do start having to cut back, which I think we pretty much discern, determined that plumbers are necessities. Uh, we need all that. So my thought is keep doing what you do, do it better than anybody else, and you'll be fine. Plumbers, my man. Sean Strong, what is up, my brother? Sean says, for the guy who's flushing with bleach, sure hope that's not a potable system. You know what, though? Uh, Sean, they use bleach. Water purification companies come in. A lot of times we have to 
chlorinate a water system in a building to make sure there's no flux, no minerals, no deposits, no nothing in there. So, man, to put bleach in and then flush it happens quite often. Uh, Tuscosa says, hi, I want to steal your mustache. Very gender. Uh, thank you. I think. Thank you. Uh, Norton Plumbing says, listening to you talk about how you smell good. That actually hits different. Uh, you know how hard it is to be a working plumber and smell good. Man, if you wear the right cologne, uh, and, and that's all I can say, find a good cologne. And, and, and look, I, I normally I normally don't go off on this subject. Thanks a lot, Sean. Uh, I normally don't go off on this subject, but man, here's the deal. <clears throat> we all, our bodies react different to different colognes. If you find a cologne that, man, when you're wearing it, people, I mean, I've had people stop me walking down the street saying, man, you smell good. I remember I, was, I used to be a bartender and I had, had this big old, big old redneck Bubba on the other side of the well. And man, I, I'm here working. I was cleaning glasses or something because I was filling glasses and I look up. And I, I mean, when I look up, I look up. I said, can I help you? He said, man, I'm going to say something. Don't want this to sound weird or nothing, but you smell good. <laughs> I'm like, well, thank you, but I'm married. Uh, I'm dating somebody, you know, whatever it was. And he just started laughing. He said, he said, man, I don't mean it that way. I said, no, I know I'm playing with you. But it, it's funny. There you go. Roger, have you have they found a cure for white mice yet? Uh, I don't even know that I want to touch that one. Eddie says, I'm in Los Angeles. Did, I, did plumbing with my dad when I was younger? but didn't really take it serious. Eddie, man, LA needs plumbers right now too. And, and they pay pretty good. Uh, it's Dave says recently started working as a helper at a private plumbing company. I was very nervous after my second day walked out less nervous, but I'm worried about not being able to understand new practices. <clears throat> yeah. Dave, here's the deal. Most plumbers aren't studying what's new. If you will get online, if you'll watch videos, if you'll, subscribe and ring the bell and see what we talk about. This is what we talk about. New stuff. What's different. What's better. What can we do? Uh, next week I've got Kohler coming in talking about new technologies for toilets and, and we're, we're giving toilets away. So, and we're giving away like a moxie shower head that has like a speaker and a radio in it. Guys, you're going to want to be here. Mocked clown super chat. Does Fox P count as clone? I don't think so, but, you know, I appreciate the thought. Justin, you are welcome. Thank you very much. And he says, try to get a job as sewer maintenance worker. But they said it would be better if I was certified, so took the advice, but instead of sewer maintenance, decided to do plumbing. Man, that's a step up. You did good. Congratulations. <clears throat> and it jumped real far on me. Sean says he'd be interested to know that studying human psychology, if you're a service plumber, can actually help quite a bit. Man, you, you're completely right. Uh, guys, look, people laugh at me because I, I've become a consummate student. I love to learn. So my, my whole thought process, the, the thing that I go through is if I study this, will it help me be a better plumber? Will it help me communicate with my customers better? Will it help me communicate with my people better? And any of those things are phenomenal. When you learn psychology, you learn how to not just work with your people better, but work with your customers better. So, yes, fantastic. If you enjoy the stream, don't forget to like and share with a friend. Thank you, sir. 1982 original, just like anything. There are good unions and bad unions. Hate it when people make it political. And, and man, I don't even talk politics when it comes to union. Uh, I was one of those people, when, if the union came and told me who to vote for, I'd at least listen. But my thing is, I voted who I thought was going to be best for me, best for the United States. Because it's not just me, it's all, it's all of us. So a lot of people do make it political. But but here's the problem with this, 1982, and, and 1982 is the year I graduated. <clears throat> Unions make it political because they come in and tell you, you have to vote for this person. You have to do this. And, and I don't agree with that. Uh, but but they're looking at it from a union point of view. Who's the best person for the union or for us as construction workers? And it doesn't always work out that way. 
<clears throat> Sean says, show the person that you are interviewing that you are extremely enthused about becoming a plumber, not about how much a plumber gets paid or anything else. Amen. And if you can get approved for a lease, you most likely can get approved for a loan on a vehicle you're purchasing. <clears throat> I agree with that, Sean. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I love the idea, though. Look, I worked my wraps, the shelves inside. I put everything in my lease package. And, and I got to tell you, it, it was kind of nice. Because then if I had a problem, it's like, hey, here, y'all fix this. So it's pretty cool. 1982 original says every plumber in my area is HVAC and plumber. Is that normal? Just an upstate New York. <clears throat> That's probably just an upstate New York thing. I'm both down here in Texas, but I don't know a lot of people that are. I'm going to. Oh, they don't have it on here. I can't even. They don't even have me a cough loop on here. <clears throat> oh, well, I was going to try. Toilet is leaking everywhere. I'd probably completely pull it and reset it and put it all back together. Uh, I've got videos on how to do that. Sean says, I'm being from California. I've never seen PVC under the home. I've only seen, like I said, ABS twice in Dallas under a home. I'm going to come Goncalves. Trying, man. Hamilton Goncalves. I have a record. Can I be an apprentice? Sure. Depending on where you're at, you, you might be able to even be a licensed plumber. In Texas, that there's, you can still become a tradesman. You can still become a plumber. It's, is it crimes against moral turpitude? And even if it is, there's ways to get around that. <clears throat> and I don't mean around it. I mean, you can still get your license with that. Hamilton says, I have a record. Okay, so I already answered that. Mocked Clown, how are we doing? Sean says, unfortunately, that bit you just said does not apply to California unions. Well, that last bit you said does not apply here. Unfortunately, it is more about the friendship relationships you make. And it, and it very well may be. Uh, that was a no. But thank you for the super chat. Uh, Donnie says, CMG. Thank you. Also, how can I be the best helper I can be? <clears throat> it's Dave. Here's what you got to do. Learn to think like you're a plumber. What is he looking for? What does he need? If you can think ahead of him, it, it'll show him number one, that, that you're motivated but you start looking at where he's headed, where he's going, and what he's trying to do. Chance is on the flip side, which is really not, because they're the only ones in town that have uh, primo training facilities or even classes. The union, to me, should be the greatest thing in the world. And to me, the, 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 the United Association Union <clears throat> should literally... Man, it, they should have 75% of the plumbers and 75% of the work. But I think it's because they're, they're not trying to bring people in the right way. But yeah, it says, how you doing? My question is, is it worth me flushing my hot water heater or just leave it alone? Lots of questions to ask. How old is it? Has it ever been flushed? What's it doing? Yada, yada, yada. Sergio, I have not, I really didn't start having a problem till just probably an hour or two ago. Sean says, for service plumbers, pick a cologne that is popular with women. I'm not going to go into it and see what happens, but yes, wear a, wear, a woman, wear a woman's perfume. I don't know that I'd do that. Matt says, plumbing code in Washington is different than basically the rest of the country. Wondering how hard would it be to move to a different state and plumb? <clears throat> Number one, Matt, it's not hard. What I would recommend to you, look at the code. If you want to move to one close to you, find one up there that, that works by the same codes. 
I've got plumbers that have come down here from Washington State and done fine. So I, I, I think with a little bit of study and a little looking around, you, you can do whatever you want to do. Ultimate Sauce God says, do you believe in running PEX lines like you would copper? I like PEX. Uh, I think that there's a lot of good things about it. I still probably, I, I like copper because I'm old school. But I know that we've had less problems with copper in the life of it than I've seen with a, a lot of different PEX products. My favorite food is steak or Mexican food, maybe. So it says human psychology, mind control, hashtag. One of the times I was just being and thinking about the money. And a lot of people do. Already did that one. Favorite food. Favorite TV show. Man, that, that's a tough one. Uh, probably The Sopranos. Yellowstone. It's Dave. Thank you, Roger. So glad to find your channel. 19, no college. Really hoping to build a nice life with plumbing. So really find it interesting and enjoyable. Dave, I'm telling you, it, it has been a phenomenal life for me. Uh, I've loved it. The head says it's about two years old. I'm just wondering if I should mess with it or not. And thanks for answering. At two years, I would say, yeah, you're fine. D had I do, I do mine a little bit different. I literally hook up a hose, run it outside where nothing can get near it. You're not going to scald anybody. You're not going to do anything. Don't let kids near it. And then turn on the hot water. I don't shut down the tank. I don't drain it. I don't turn it off. But I would also think about that only if I had a brass drain valve. Something to think about. Jeff says, hey, Roger, just started your plumbing company. If you were to start all over again in your situation as a new business owner, what would be your first few things you would do? Number one, I would want all my systems and processes set up properly from the very beginning. That way, anybody I hire goes through those systems and processes and understands it. That would be big. What else? What else? <clears throat> Man, focus on your brand. Focus, focus on building your brand, building your reputation, getting everything right. I hired coaches and consultants, which I highly believe in. If I would not have hired the coaches and consultants, I wouldn't that I did. I wouldn't be where I'm at. Some of them were to help grow the company. Some of them were to help grow social media. Some of them were to help grow me. If you want to be good at anything, I mean, look at everybody who's amazing. They've got coaches. They've got consultants. I know coaches that have coaches. And I'm telling you, if you want to be the very best, that's what it takes. Uh, Jeff, wh where are you located? Just out of curiosity. There's the links to everything we're doing. And guys, I am, my throat's getting worse. As you see, I suck a cough drop in. I'm going to get out of here in just a couple of minutes. I've been going almost an hour. And it's, it's starting to get worse. Sean says, yeah, it's funny. I actually found out about that little bit Charlotte pot maker. Actually took a state to court due to ABS not being a solid wall pipe. And they won in that state. <clears throat> Guys, you can win at anything if you fight hard enough. Are you hiring any unexperienced plumbers? We're always looking for apprentices. Uh, rescue air right there. Rescue air slash Texas green. So always. Fleshman looks like a, a green head or something. So I see it. And he says, then there's copper. That is the only kind of pop I use. Cost money. It costs money because it saved money. I'll post a video in the discord. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tool you use more than you expected, uh, my multi-tool. Uh, man, I've got a multi-tool that I carry with me all the time. I love it. You are welcome. Ultimate Sauce God hammers. A hammer comes in handy. How many years have you been a plumber? I've started plumbing in 1980, so I'm looking at 42 years. Sergio says, Roger Wake, I'll have a friend who has a leak coming from his pipe under his sink in his bathroom. I have not seen it physically. 
thinking he needs a whole new P-trap and tailpipe. What do you think? Until you see it, you don't know. It could just be a slip joint nut. It could be a washer. It could be any kind of thing. Jeff's in Charlotte. Good deal. <clears throat> and look around or you will find something good. D. Hud says, okay, uh, well, I don't have a brass fitting. Any suggestions on draining the water here? I mean, you can still flush it. You just got to be careful with those plastic valves. Uh, you might think about swapping it out with a brass fitting. I would like that. Uh, I don't drink beer. I drink bourbon. Thank you. Eric Byron says, waiting online for the plumbing union in Long Island City, New York. A thousand people for application. Wish me luck. A thousand people, and they probably only hire 60. If you're a service person in California, uh, looking at meeting up with, that's going to be home during the day when you're going to be there is going to be a woman that helps. Uh, all right. Fletchman, plenty of my favorite. I'm good there. Sean Drew says, I heard before about flirting and stuff with women on the house calls. I won't tell anyone how to live. We had a guy who hooked up with a client and she sued for assault. Just be careful. Amen. Thank you. And Sean says, text is the only chemical free option. All right, guys. <clears throat> like I said, it's getting hard for me to talk. I am going to go ahead and shut this down to get out of here. I hope that y'all have enjoyed it. It has been wonderful for me as always. I will be here. Actually, I'll be here like the next three or four weeks. I don't go out of town for a while, but when I do, I'll definitely let y'all know in advance. Y'all definitely want to be here next week. Next week, I'm going to be doing giveaways. And like I said, I will have Kohler in the house. So I hope you got something out of it today. If you haven't done it yet, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and you hadn't rung the bell, please do so. I'm Roger Wakefield, helping you make more money in the trades.